here are the answers to today's quiz it's a relatively easy quiz actually um, but probably some of you were confused because of the clinical so this is a 38 year old male with a whitish sclerotic plaque on the lower lip since one year it has been asymptomatic now if you look at the plaque um, clinically you may think acne chelitis or um, you may think lichen sclerosis or even DLE so these are your differentials um, so what does the histology show histology even on low power shows a nice band-like lichen or infiltrate and I think that should give you the answer directly. There is acanthosis and um, some amount of atrophy in places as well but you may find that in lichen planus. There is a clear-cut sawtoothing of the retiridges. Can you see this sawtoothing? And this is evident in the higher power image here. There is sawtoothing of the retiridge. And um, yeah, there, there is a band-like lymphocytic infiltrate, some amount of compact hyperkeratosis on low power which is obvious. All right. Now, um, on NOPA, you can also uh, confirm that this biopsy is from the lip because there are a lot of blood vessels here, which the lip usually has. Um, and also, the fat is quite superficial, which uh, you would expect in the lip. All right. So, what does a higher power show? Higher power images show, this is, this is an area of epidermal thinning. And you can see these nice colloid bodies. It can't get more beautiful than this. You can see nice colloid bodies, both uh, in the epidermis and dropping down into the papillary dermis and you can see this uh, island of keratinocytes which has been cut off from the epithelium after it has been sort of uh, sawed toothed out rather. Um, now I think some of you are confused that these sort of blobs of uh, pink are uh, amyloid. This is not actually amyloid, this is just extensive colloid bodies which have dropped into the papillary dermis and how do you differentiate them? Amyloid is much more homogeneous and uh, it's not broken out like this. This is, um, these are just colloid bodies. Well, there is a sort of a theoretical um, explanation with regards to lichen amyloidosis that lichen amyloidosis is indeed derived from uh, keratinocytes just like uh, amyloid, sorry, just like uh, colloid bodies. And uh, the initial stage in, in the formation of uh, cutaneous amyloid is indeed colloid bodies. Um, so, well, um, so there is, there is, um, the, this, this is a probably a transitional phase between two amyloid and sort of uh, isolated single colloid bodies. You can see this sort of uh, necrotic uh, yellowish, uh, sorry, uh, pinkish stuff in the papillary dermis. Now here, there is a suspicion of slight reduplication of the basal basin membrane. Um, just this alone, however, is not enough to call something DLE. Um, DLE needs um, DLE, DLE uh, needs other features as well. A band-like infiltrate is usually unlikely in DLE, though there is an entity called lichenoid DLE which can um, look like this. Now, what you're also seeing here in the papillary dermis is a dense. Uh, they see that you can make out that the lymphocytes, the inflammatory cells, are predominantly lymphocytes, and uh, yeah, this again is the island of epidermal keratinocytes which has been cut off. What you can also make out is um, the, the, the apoptosis of keratinocytes extends high up into the epidermis and there is also some focal paracaratosis. Alright, so the differentials given to you were lichen sclerosis. Lichen sclerosis usually presents with uh, papillary dermal sclerosis and below that is the band of lichen or infiltrate usually which is absent here. Acne colitis is a pre-malignant condition. You should be able to see epidermal dysplasia which is absent here. Um, Granulomatous chelitis is a granulomatous entity. There is no granuloma here. Lichen amyloidosis, I've already explained to you, very unusual and rare in on the lip, and uh, this is not amyloid. This is just extensive colloid body formation. DLE is a close differential. If you've um, you know if if you've chosen DLE, then uh, don't uh, you know curse yourself too hard. This is a close diagnosis. Um, DLE and lichen planus probably can be in the differential, but Dearly, I would expect um, you know, not such dense like you know, infiltrates, usually a bit more patchier than this and uh, more in the way of basin membrane thickening, less in the way of colloid bodies. Um, so that's what I would expect in DLE. So this is a case of lichen planus of the lip. I hope you enjoyed the quiz. Thank you very much.